we will start with DNA replication. So in this video we are going to talk about how a single DNA has been divided into two DNA molecules. So what exactly happens to this DNA for it to divide into two DNA molecules. So now there is some uh, starter enzyme which helps the DNA to divide. There are polymerases which will separate the strands. There is ligase enzyme which will seal the strand which will combine the strand and they will seal the next the empty spaces which has been left as a, uh, for the result of transcription so all these process is there but this is the more simplest process of all transcription so before moving on to this diagrammatic explanation we will talk about the three important types of uh, DNA replication so one is conservative dispersive semi-conservative so first we'll talk about conservative so conservative as the english word we say it is so conserved right it's so restricted which means that a single strand give rise to another strand so that is called meaning a single dna molecule will give rise to the other dna molecules in a conserved manner in a very smooth manner a dna molecule into another dna molecule so that is called as conservative or uh, replication next is dispersive so what do we mean by dispersive which which is to indicate that it is spread all over a single dna molecule will divide into many fragments and each of these fragments will form a new dna it is almost like fission reaction right so in bacteria and all the primitive protozoans it, there is budding and all those micro encapsulation like this method this descriptive replication is just like it will break down into fragments so fragmentation of the DNA molecule and this fragments will again form a new baby DNA molecule dotted DNA molecule so next is semi conservative so semi conservative is that there are two strands of DNA so now each of the strands will unwind and each of the strand will form a complementary strand right for example if a base pair is there it has to combine with T here if it is G there it has to combine with C I told you in the previous uh, section right so that is semi conservative replication and now the typical process what are all the enzymes involved in semi conservative replication is that we are going to study today right and now there are two DNA strands one from 5 prime to 3 prime and the other is anti parallel strand 3 prime to 5 prime fine and now 5 prime to 3 prime and 3 prime to 5 prime is a normal structure of a DNA so it has two strands that is fine and now what happens any DNA to undergo this semi conservative replication will have a specific point from which the DNA will start unwinding itself so now the region from which the dna will start to replicate is called as ori region origin of replication or rc fine and now after, right after the ori region the two of the strands will start unwinding and this region from where the strand will start separating is called as replication fork from this region actually the replication process will start to take place and now what will happen dna helicase now this is the first enzyme so both of the enzymes are together now dna helicase it is almost like a zip it's something like how you open a zip now what happens when you open a zip now both imagine a zip as a dna molecule now the zip the zipper is there no so that is the dna helicase so as it moves the strands will start separating fine so that is dna helicase and next what will happen the strand will start separating and now now what will happen you have polymerase 
DNA poll. You short form you call it as DNA poll or the polymerase enzyme. They start adding the nucleotides. So there is a complementary strand. If three prime end, the anti parallel strand would be five prime. If it is five prime, the anti parallel would be three prime. So anything which has happened from the three prime end and the complementary strand is called as a leading strand and Anything that starts from the 5 prime end, the complementary strand is called as a lagging strand. And now, there is there are two types of replication. One is continuous replication and the other is discontinuous replication. In continuous replication, straight away the base pairs will be added by DNA polymerase. But in discontinuous re uh, replication, the same way the DNA pole will start adding the base pairs. But with, there are few fragments, in types of fragments, this DNA polymerase will start adding the base pairs. Fine. And that is why you call it as a leading strand and a lagging strand. So in lagging strand, it is all broken into simpler fragments. And those fragments you call it as Okazagi fragments. Okazagi. Fine. And this is the difference between continuous, discontinuous Okazagi fragments before the DNA helicase and then DNA polymerase. Now both of now from the parent DNA there are two dotted DNA. Now what will happen? DNA helicase and topo isomerase will detach these two daughter strands from the parent strand and DNA ligase will seal the nick. Seal the nick meaning it will seal all the empty spaces. So there is a daughter, there is a parent DNA from which two daughter DNA is been arrived. So this is the process of transcription, replication and in next class we will talk about transcription.